here by Tom Brick coming to you from Warrens Township where they got the good word today. They got an A rating from the state of Indiana. We just met with Dr. Smith. He told us what that means to him, what that means to the students, and what that means to all of us living out here at Geist Reservoir. Uh, the Department of Education has set uh, letter grade standards that are based upon, uh, for the kindergarten through eighth grade, the I-STEP scores, test results. And so they factor those results in percent passing. And in addition to that, you get additional points if your students approve their test scores uh, based on growth, so over the previous school year. So as a result of that, you, you take all of that and they create a formula and you get, it, it eventually results into uh, an A is a 4.0, 3.0 B and, and so on. And then in addition to that, the high school, which is a little bit different, they utilize I-STEP results. They make a comparison of the students from their eighth grade results to 10th grade. And then they look at the high school's graduation rate and the number of kids who are pursuing what we call college and career readiness coursework. So IBAP, dual credit, those things are taken into account. And if you meet a certain percentage of kids who are taking that, you get higher points for that. So the high school's a little bit different. And then they take all of that and blend it all together, both levels, and that's how we come up with a district letter grade. And for the MSD of Lawrence Township, we're very proud to say we are in great shape because our elementaries have been in middle and high school scored very well that would put us into the A category. It is something to hang your hat on because a, a great part of our earning our letter grade is based upon how much our students improved over last year. So we're rewarded for in students improving their, their test results. Well, first and foremost, we have outstanding families and students. Uh, we have a diverse and a plethora of different types of kids that achieve at very high level. Yes, 12 National Merit Scholars is not something to joke around. Those are the 15,000 top students in our country, and 12 of them are home here which is unbelievable. That's more than some of our neighbors. Matter of fact, more than anyone in Marion County. And we also rival some of our outer suburban areas in terms of numbers. We have talented kids and it's reflected academically. I love our, our performing arts. Look at our band. We're gonna wish them luck this week as they go on the state competition. They've made it to state. And then we can go on the athletic fields and, 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 and other competitions and our kids do perform very well. So we're a very diverse community that still performs at a high level. And that's something to truly celebrate. 